Hello, welcome back to Repton's Adventures in the Ocean. Okay, we can see this level's nicely set out like a big treasure chest. Repton's very fond of his treasure chests around here. He just hopes that no pirates actually turn up and decide to claim their treasure back. So we've dropped off an octopus pod down there, but we also dropped those wheels down there, so he should be dealt with. We'll just take it by faith that he is. And we drop into this area of loads and loads of pearls, and uh, yes, there we can see there is one skull. So it's uh, quite a bit dangerous, you might not be paying enough attention and end up running into that. And on these levels, it's quite a shock sometimes to find out you've actually run into a skull. It's like, hang on, couldn't I collect that? But uh, no, you couldn't. So here we've got an octopus, and we can see how scary they look now, because they really do. I don't know what the graphics designers did, but they managed to make that octopus look very, very scary. So we finished clearing up around here. And uh, yes, don't forget that one as well. Pop through the transport, and they give us a lot of scuba gear around here. It's nice to know that we won't be drowning, but uh, it's a bit of an overkill, especially with all these torches around too. Repton's definitely not going to run out of batteries or oxygen anytime soon. So we come to the opposite side of the map to where we started now, making the way clear to that clam over there, and then making that one available and dropping these wheels down so these jellyfish can get out of there and help us out with those clams. But we pop back over to the other side where we started on and uh, take a look down here. Yes, that octopus has been dealt with, otherwise we'd be uh, being attacked right now. And that jellyfish that we let down has nicely opened up that path back through so we don't have to go all the way around again. And there's another octopus there, but he's nice and quick to deal with. I like it when they're nice and quick to deal with. So not forgetting here to go up and grab that one clam that's opened up up there and then finish things off by looking like you're impaling yourself on a torpedo. Right, now here on this start of this level we've got to collect these uh, um, sorry, pearls up here because we'll end up trapping them if we collect our torch and we've made a little uh, way down to the bottom here for one of the wheels to roll off down and land on that side there and yes those jellyfish aren't coming out because the safes have blocked them off another quick octopus to deal with and we're coming through here to make a way clear for one of the um, other clans up here but we've also got to let this jellyfish out and he's going to be going towards a clam which will need to get out of an area see that clam above us there he's going to be going to that clam so we can get out of this area which we need to come into because the pearl that was in the corner which we collected just after we teleported in there would be blocked off if we collected the key because we'd uh, the uh, boulder at the top there would roll off the safe that you can't see there. So now coming up here, all we're doing is grabbing the, the torch there. Don't want to drop anything down here because we've still got to have the jellyfish get out of that area. And we're just making way clear to a clam that's just below us. So we can now let these jellyfish out. We can see that when we collected the key, or the flashlight, then there was an octopus that got let out. And it's quite annoying because the wheel that's near the octopus there can't actually be used to dispose of him. Because uh, it's uh, by some seaweed there, and it's difficult to get the... Um, octopus out to chase you around and get into get into a nice position to be squashed. But there are other ways to deal with that octopus. And I'm going back there now to sort all that out. 
first off, get rid of the one more jellyfish around here, and then say, Hey, Mr. Octopus, let's go on a race. I bet you I can beat you up to this wheel. See? I'm the winner. Let me pop through here, grab our nice treasure chest. Pop down into this area with lots of broken ships. And then we can go into this little transporter off to the side, which takes us not too far away, but it would have taken us more time to walk around. So it's quite a nice shortcut, especially since it's just for that one pearl up there. And also we've got to get rid of the transport so we can push that across so it doesn't roll onto our heads when we collect the one pearl that's next to it. So more on cleanup duty here now, just grabbing the things that have been left behind, but being careful not to injure ourselves or block something off. Come near to the start of the level, where we nicely arranged the uh, wheels to start off with, so that we can actually collect all the pearls up there. And now that we don't have to do anything down the bottom, we can drop all these wheels down whilst we collect the rest of these pearls that are up here. So just rounding the coral here to go to our ending place. And there we go, jump on my torpedo. And that's it for now, see you next time.